In an era long past, as monarchies weaken, local feudal lords grew in power. The first knights simply protected their lords' domains. However, with the reforms of the late 11th century, knights became protectors of the peace. They valued courage and honor, fighting heretics and heathens in God's name. In this age, one company of knights was said to be invincible due to two men. Leon Belmont, a courageous man who feared nothing and whose combat abilities were second to none. And Matthias Kronqvist, a genius tactician whose learning made him an exception in a largely illiterate society. They trusted each other completely and they were bound by an old friendship. However, sorrow awaited Matthias upon his return from a victorious campaign. It was news of the sudden death of his beloved wife, Elisabetta. Matthias' grief was profound, and he became bedridden. A year has passed since then. Thanks to Leon's efforts, their company remains proudly undefeated. However, a mysterious army of monsters suddenly appears in Leon's domain. The Crusades are raging in the east, and since the church is focusing on fighting heathens rather than monsters, it has forbidden unauthorized battles. Leon wants permission to sortie, but the church has no intention of granting it. One night, Matthias struggles from his sickbed and tells Leon that the appearance of the monsters is tied to a vampire who has a castle in the forest called Eternal Night, and that Leon's betrothed, Sarah, has been kidnapped and brought to that castle. Leon realizes that he must renounce his title to rescue his beloved. The forest is swollen with darkness, as if it would rob away everything, and only moonlight provides a ray of hope. A great legend is about to begin. God damn. Who's ready for this legend? I know I am. Hell yeah, dude. Get ready, y'all. It's time. It's time for another Spooktoberfest. Castlevania Extravaganza. Welcome to Castlevania Lament of Innocence. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing this year? Everybody feeling the spoopy season? I mean, I've already technically got started, but, you know, now that I'm streaming in the official October month, it feels correct. It feels right. And, uh... It's been a while since I've done a Castlevania game. I actually was planning to do this game last year, but I kind of felt like I oversaturated the Castlevania market last year. <laughs> Not necessarily, but I played all three of the games from the Advanced Collection. You know, Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, and uh, Aria of Sorrow, right? That's all the games. Um, which were all fun games to play. That's why I kind of did them all back-to-back. -back. But then when I got to October last year... I'm assuming it's going to play a demo, and I don't want to see a demo yet. Um... When I got to October last year, I was actually planning to play this game, and I had other games lined up too, like the Clock Tower series and other things, but it kind of just didn't fit in my schedule, along with the fact that this game is not its not a 2D game. I thought it was going to be a 2D game, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't sure since it's on the PS2. It would make sense for it to be a 3D, you know, platforming action game, uh, but apparently it's, it, it is 3D. I, I thought it was a 2D game, I really did. So... You know, I was like, well, in that case, I'm not really ready to play this right now. I was kind of expecting a 2D platformer, which it was not. So I'll take, I'll take that in mind, and I will, I'll, I'll circle back to this game when I get the chance. Maybe even next year when we get to October. And well, here we are in October. Should I keep the vibration function on? So I got this new PS2 controller, and I'm like, I shouldn't say new. It's, uh, it's newish. It's it's a generic. It's like my old red generic one, but I have a black one now, and it works. I remember using it last year for Clock Tower, and it worked pretty good, so... 
I actually forgot I had the dang thing. But anyway, um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get this game started. Oh, by the way, let's thank who gifted us me this game, hence the reason why we're playing an official PS2 copy. And that was Janie Hill. Sorry, Janie, if you're watching this. Sorry for being so late on this playthrough. Sometimes it just takes a minute for me to fit it into my schedule. But we're finally here, and I'm sorry. And sorry to those who are watching this who have gifted me games but I haven't played them yet. I will get them all to them all in due time, even if I just try them. But I do want to play all the games they gifted to me. I, I'm not ignoring them on purpose. It's just hard to juggle all the different games I want to play. Let's click new game, and let's get started, shall we? Oh, we get to name ourselves. I mean, it's just the name of the save file. We already know we're going to play as Leon Belmont. Another new Belmont in the mix. Or at least we know we'll probably play as Leon Belmont. I don't know. They mentioned another character there at the beginning. Maybe we get to pick a character between two different ones. I guess we're going to find out soon enough. I can even put my space for Funky GE. Let's do it. Heck yeah, we're starting with this name. Alright, save in the first slots. Of course there's no data. I've never played this before. Durr. Um, durr. Yeah, this is one of those Castlevania games I just didn't know existed for the longest, longest time. So, knowing this game exists is weird to me. Never thought the Castlevania series made it to the PS2. But... It did, and here we are. Apparently you gotta make a save to start off the game. Weird, but that's fine. Let's -a go! Look at all those graphics. <clears throat> what just happened? I felt something strange. Ah, he must really like you. You won't be able to leave now. Who's there? Now, don't get so excited. I'm just an old man. I just came to gawk at the man crazy enough to come here. You don't seem like a monster. <laughs> of course not. What is your name? Leon. Leon. Don't name drop that last name, bro. Don't do it. You're not Baron oh, Leon shit. Belmont. He knows us. Just <clears throat> Leon Belmont. I have given up my title. And you, old man? Pardon me, Lord Belmont. My name is Rinaldo Gandolfi. That sounds like a fake made-up name. call me Leon. And I will call you Rinaldo. Don't call me Lord. We're equals now. As you wish. Now, please follow me to my cottage. I want to talk to you. I won't eat you, I swear. This guy's pretty sus. I'm not gonna lie. Leon, don't trust him. Don't do it. Wait here a moment. There's something I want to give you. Ronaldo, can I ask you something? What is it? Why are you living in a place like this? I have unfinished business with Walter Bernhard, the master of this forest. Unfinished business? Not worth mentioning. I owe him. Well, I won't ask any more, but you're not in danger living so close to him? It seems eternal life is extremely boring. He enjoys playing at cat and mouse with the hunters that come here. Though, of course, there's no way that he could ever lose. He thinks that um, my helping hunters makes the game more fun. I see. But what do you mean by there being no way he could lose? Vampires are loved by the night. And this forest is locked in eternal darkness. He has never been defeated. Well, that may be so, but I must go ahead and face him. Did he... take someone precious? Yes, he abducted my betrothed. How did you know that? It's what he always does when he starts the game. You came unarmed. Your courage astonishes me. I was gonna say, why you come unarmed, bro? What you I doing? I do have a weapon, just not my sword. That belongs to the company, and I left it behind when I gave up my title. <laughs> Honest to a fault. 
I heard that many hunters have met their end here. If that's the case, getting weapons shouldn't be hard. Take this with you. It will help you against monsters. Go whip some shit is what he's trying to say. What is this? What is it? A whip oh made God. with alchemy. It's stronger than any dead man's discarded sword. Alchemy. I'm not familiar with that word. Not surprising. You are. The field you do look experiments dumb. with the principles of God's creation of the world. The only person who truly understands it is Matthias. You know Lord Cronkvist? I have known him longer than you have. His family has a book of secret arts, originally handed down orally. Secret arts? I never knew. Of course not. Only a handful of people in this world know about it. There are some who consider alchemy. What's up, Evil Rafus? Good morning. And yes, this is on PS2. I see. Are you one of them? No. If you are an acquaintance of That's Matthias, a long -ass intro, by you the are way. trustworthy. I will use this whip with gratitude. Like, I haven't even got to play the game yet. This is long. Put your left hand out. My left hand? Like this? And do the hokey pokey. Don't move now. I get the magic glowy hand? <gasps> also, what's up, DJ? Welcome in, welcome in. How you doing? That should do it. You can put it down now. was that? The gauntlet is enchanted now. A spell? Some enemies' attacks release a special power. If you block them with the gauntlet, you can gather that power. Gather what that can power. I do with the gathered power? You'll be able to use magical relics by releasing that power. Magical relics? Right. Those who excel in magic can use them. I have cast the spell so that you can use them as well. I have some. You should be able to obtain them in the castle as well. I understand. Right now, this is all I can do for you. Well, okay then, sir. Also, hey, Vlammy, welcome in. We're doing some hammy PlayStation Ronaldo. stuff today. I suppose. Thank you. It's pretty hammy, I, go, I guess. I PS2 to specifically, but yeah. The door leading to his throne is guarded by five monsters. So I will need to defeat them first. That's right. That's essentially the test you must pass to fight him. What a bothersome. I told you before. To him, this is a game. I realize that, but... If you have troubles, come back here anytime. They won't be free, but I'll keep potions on hand for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. This conversation has been way too freaking long. Holy shit. Can I play the game now? Jesus Christ. Alright. The video game is now being played. Okay. It's very 3D. Jesus. Oh yeah. Look at that whip. Look at that hot whip action. Wow. Alright. Can I whip these boxes? No? Okay. So we have a double jump right off the bat. Just FYI, Leon is badass enough to double jump. Uh, circle brings up that little menu, I guess. Okay, so triangle and square are both whip whip moves. Got it. Trigger is my... I guess that's my block with my gauntlet. Okay, L and R... L or R1 and, and R2, rather. That's what those do. L1 brings up this little radio menu for probably switching maybe sub-weapons or something. <clears throat> Okay, L1 and L1 and R2, uh, L1 and L2. Jesus Christ, L1 and L2 both do that. Okay, so we start off, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, it's definitely a PS2 game, Flammy. And also, what's up, Tara? 
Yeah, um, I don't think this was uh, narrated by Captain Picard like uh, Lords of Shadow was, but, you know, could have been. All right, now we get to figure out if we like the video game. Okay, apparently the, the other joystick does that. Does the D-pad do anything? Oh, oh. The D-pad goes to equipment. All right, sure. Or wait, no, it just goes to a menu in general. Items, equipment, orbs, relics. Okay. Start button. Okay, we do have a menu like this. I didn't press start yet. Oh boy, who's ready for some Castlevania adventure action? Oh yeah. <laughs> Time to save the president's daughter again. Is that what the is Sarah the president's daughter? All we know is that it's Leon's betrothed, Sarah. That's who we're going to save. This control's pretty good. It doesn't feel janky or anything, so I hope it plays good too when we actually start running into enemies. Wow. If you saw this screen, would you be excited to play the game? Look at how terrible that looks. Oh my god. I mean, it looks terrible on my TV screen, but still, even so, if I was playing this on a CRT, it would look bad. Jesus. Well, here I thought we were going to be exploring the forest, but it looks like we're going straight to the castle. Alrighty then. Yeah, to turn up your phone brightness? I'm not surprised. Sarah, wait for me. It's pretty dark. I'm coming to save you. You do that, Leon. Just don't make me watch another cutscene when I just got started. Jesus Christ. Castlevania. Because... Anyway, what does that say? Prelude to the Dark Abyss. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whip those candles, boy. Hell, yeah. Good times. Sarah is the name of a certain all Resident Evil character. Sarah is? Or another character? Or Leon. I'm, I am Leon. We did already play as Leon once this month. And now we're playing as Leon again. I didn't even... It didn't even hit me until I just said that out loud. Anyway, have a good work, Lurk DJ. Appreciate you hanging out for the work, Lurk. Alright. Gotta whip all the things, collect all the hearts. Those are probably for a sub weapon. Which is with circle button, which I just learned. Noted. Okay, so I guess we just check doors. I mean, that door's got a blue. We have a map here. We do have a map. Alright. Very Castlevania, bro. We got a map. We totally won't get lost, I swear. I'm guessing this door needs something to open it. Seal formed by five monsters has been set here. Five monsters? That's so many. Gotta remember you can whip all the candles, though. Actually, technically, that was last month. Well, technically, yes, you are correct. Alright, well, if we look at the map, this is technically the left door, so we're going left door first. Do it! Because... Always left, baby. I would hope the camera isn't so dumb when we actually run into some enemies. I hope so. Get all the hearts, though. Okay, I don't know what's up with these things, but... Got some combo shit going on. Can we whip these candles? Are they, are they whippable? No. No whips. Head for the exit. During a jump, Leon can jump a second time. Certainly. I've learned that already, but thank you for the double jump tutorial. Ooh, what this? Event item. Marker stone one. You can place a stone on the world map with this magical stone that shines red. Oh, so you can, like, make yourself a little, uh, a little, uh, way stone. Like, oh, I need to go back to this room. I'm gonna put that on the map. To the left, to the left, everything you own on the box. To the left, Tara. You don't know what song that's from? You don't know your Beyonce, bro? You gotta learn your Beyonce. Can I get up here? Absolutely. You can hang on ledges. Noted. Good times. Ooh, a poaching. I like poaching. Poaching is heels. I like heels. I like poaching. 
All I know is there better be wall chicken in this game. Otherwise, it's not a real Castlevania game. Take advantage of places you can traverse by hooking the whip and swinging. Oh my god, you're gonna give me hook swing mechanics already? Right off the bat, man. I got some serum, that's cool. Okay. What are we hooking and swinging to, I wonder? You don't really listen to that kind of music, Terry? What kind of music do you listen to, sir? I would actually be very curious. Are you just like a video game music guy? Do you have some bands you like? Do you have some singers you like? What kind of music you like, man? Is this a dead end for me right now? It's starting to feel like it. The only door here is this one, and it seems to be blocked by Un Cage. But is there something I can, like, hook my whip to? Because they gave me the tutorial to whip on and uh, hook onto something. But I don't understand what that would be. It's weird that they gave me the whip, like, whip swinging tutorial. And I don't even have anything to whip swing to in this room. Unless I can whip swing to these. There's definitely an item up there. Hmm. I feel like I can do something in here, right? Maybe? I don't know. I really don't. I'm not seeing it, dog. I'm not seeing it. I guess we'll just come back when we look around some more anyway you mostly listen to classic rock Terra okay fair enough and of course game music which that's the one I kind of figured you would say I'm not gonna whip every candle every time I walk by that feels like overkill man it's probably worth it for the hearts but even so Let's go on this side and see what's going on on the right side of the castle. What's up, Sparty? Welcome in. How you doing today? Hope you're ready for some hot Castlevania action, dog. Right, looks like there is a door here, but it's blocked by whatever these sword-looking blocky blocks are. So we go this way. Hello, hello. We still haven't seen one enemy. Like, come on, man. Is this a save room? This is a save room. Absolutely. Okay, so we found our first save room. Totes. You might have said so already, but what brought on this particular Castlevania? Well, first of all, it was gifted to me by a, uh, you know, by a viewer. So that was that's a big, uh, big um, push to the top of the list type of thing. And, uh, yeah, and I actually planned to play this last year. It just didn't work out time-wise, and then I never got around to it. And so, uh, just didn't happen. So, now we're here, a year later. But, yeah, it's mostly just because it was gifted. That's really the only real reason. So. so, I can't get through here. So, am I already stumped? Basically. So I don't know how to get past this. Unless there's some kind of switch or something else I can do in here. I gotta go back and figure out what the hell is wrong with the other room on the other side. There's been no enemies yet. Like, what the heck, man? I'm sure this business will pick up eventually. But holy crap, no enemies yet is just weird to me. Right when you walk into all the other Castlevania castles, there's, there's just enemies right away. Man. You just figured that I did most of the other Castlevanias already? I mean, I have done a lot of Castlevanias, no doubt. I mean, I still have all the DS ones to do, so that's a thing. And uh, those, are, those are on my to-do list, too. I was kind of hoping they'll do a DS collection, but that still might be, you know, a year or two away. Who knows? So I'm not going to hold my breath for it. So I'll, when I'm ready to play the DS versions, I'll just play them. I just wish... They will, or I hope they will, so I don't have to worry about any point-and-click DS control type stuff. Where I have to tap on the stupid touchpad. I don't know if the Castlevania games have much of that on the DS. I'd have to look into it, but yeah. I'm hoping they do collection of it. There are still other Castlevania games I haven't played that aren't those. There's just not a lot of them. 
Like, there's still Lords of Shadow 2 and the other spin-off one, which are not games I really want to play that badly, even though I do think I will play them at some point. I just don't know when that will be either. Can I not get up here? Man. Anyway, you have the GBA collection. You haven't actually done them yet, Sparty? Well, have fun. They are good games. I had a good time with all of them. I haven't played... That's the other thing. I haven't played Dracula X on that collection, so I kind of have that on my long-term to-do list as well. I know it's very much like similar to... Um, I know it's similar to... Uh, Wow, I'm blanking on the name. Rondo of Blood, thank you. Uh, it's similar to Rondo of Blood, but uh, it's different, so I want to play it. All right, well, I'm at the point where I don't know what I'm doing, so this is fun. It gave me a tutorial to hookshot or whatever to swing across things with my whip, but I don't know... I don't know what I'm doing. What am I swinging across? Do you guys see anything? Like, I don't care. If you see it, let me know. I don't see nothing. Am I really stuck, you know, ten minutes into the game? Not even. Five minutes into the actual gameplay? I don't see anything to swing on in here. More gothic adventures indeed, Garzonis. Welcome in, welcome in. You can spin the map in circles. That's interesting. Yeah, like, there's a save room over there on the right. <clears throat> there was one of those doors that, there's two different doors that have the red bar things in the way on the far right and in that left hallway. And then we're at the dead end here where I don't know how to get up here. Whoa, that's pretty dope. If you press triangle and jump, you do that. I like that. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know why. That is pretty dope. I like that. I keep throwing my knives, but that's wasting my hearts, man. Am I dumb? 2.6% done already? Am I? Where is the percent? Or did the save file say that earlier? Or that's the map. The map said that. Fixed move, control guide. Am I just dumb? Is there something in here I'm not noticing? Like, I don't understand what the hell I'm doing wrong here. Do I want the answer? I mean, kinda. Like, I, I literally would like to know if you guys see anything in this room that I'm not seeing. Or if I'm just being dumb somewhere else and I need to go look around some more. I'll go look around more if I have to, but honestly, this room feels like it shouldn't be a dead end for me. I really don't know. It's kind of killing me. Alright, well, I'm going to look around some more in this room. This room doesn't have any other doors. Let's collect more hearts. I got a dollar. Oh, shit, dog. I'm getting dollars now. Hell yeah. Give me all the dollar dollar bills. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. And dollar dollar bills, y'all. I can perhaps answer the am I dumb question. Well, thank you. I, that's the question I really needed answered for sure. I don't know why it's starting to drop dollars. Oh, you know what? It's because I have full hearts, probably. Now we're getting dollars. 
guess we're gonna grind for money. Let's do it. I kind of can't believe I don't know what I'm doing. Like, this is, uh... I'm literally, you know, five minutes into this game. And I'm already like, what do I do? It's like the thing up here just says you gotta deal with five monsters and it doesn't open. So I imagine it opens when you kill the five monsters. So the only other thing in my, you know, possibility list is that there's a way to open the door over here. Is this the fastest I've ever gotten stuck? That is a solid question. I don't know. Maybe this is the fastest I've ever gotten this stuff. I'm gonna feel dumb when I know the answer, probably. But yeah, this room... All there is is this, but I don't... Knives don't work. Whip doesn't work. Shield doesn't do nothing. Those are all my moves. Those are all the moves at my disposal. The save point room didn't have anywhere to go. It was just a save point room only. So, yeah. I'm a bit at a loss. I feel like those red doors, I, I need a specific ability to open them. Like, they're probably like a missile door, you know, from like Metroid. It's gotta be something over here. It has to be. Like, I can't imagine it's not something over here. Seriously. I found what? There. Whip of alchemy, relic, orb, skill. I don't have any anything, dude. I don't have anything new that I picked up. The only thing I've picked up so far is the thing where I can place it on the map. So that happened. I tried that, by the way. That's janky as hell. I got another marker stone. Woo! So basically, you gotta hook onto these and they'll pull you up. Which is what I thought I had to do, and I swear I pressed the buttons to do that. I just didn't time it right, I guess. Son of a bitch. Whatever, I figured it out, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, it makes sense. It's something in this room that had to do with hooking up. I, it made sense. That was what the tutorial said when I walked in. But Jesus, could you have some kind of indicator that lets me know that that's what I can hook onto? Because seriously, holy shit. I have to blindly just jump around and hook at things? That's going to be annoying. Also, yay, our first enemies after I complain. Feed all the enemies in the room to open the door. You got it. Whip him up. Whip him up. Whip him up. He's a skeleton man. He's a skeleton man. He's a skeleton man. Do you even know how to fight skeleton man? Right now, you're looking like a noob. Noob ass skeleton, bro. I learned a new technique, yo. Quick step. Guard button and X. Okay. Moves quickly in the direction to the left analog stick. Possible. Okay, so it's like... Let me try that. Huh? Nope. Oh, you'd have to be holding block first, and then you just press X. Okay, cool. I can quick step. That's actually always useful in 3D action games, so I'm going to be happy that we got that early. Either that or it was already unlocked, it, but it said new technique, so it must not have been available till now. I'm getting all my money, by the way. The door is open, and I want all my money. Oh, the money. I know you're proud of me, Garzana, for jumping, mastering the jumping. 
Take advantage of places you can traverse by hooking the whip and swinging. Okay. We're going to learn what the hell that means, because... Yep. See, this is what I was picturing. Swinging across on, like, a bar. Because that's kind of what they showed me in the tutorial picture. First of all, there's a an item down here. Is there more down here? Hold on. Uncursed potion. So I got a poison potion and a curse potion to heal my poison and curse. Always good. So if I go, huh? Nope. Oh, this is going to be fun. 3D platforming with this kind of shit is going to be so much fun. How the f... Ooh. Am I just supposed to... Oh, okay. I have to double whip across. Alright. My bad. If we have to make some precision jumps with this later, oh my god, we are going to have some fail, fail, fails. Holy shit. Dude. Ooh. Mama, this is going to be a problem. Why can't I fucking... Ooh. How did I do it once? <laughs> Am I just pressing it late? I don't know. I don't even know anymore, guys. I'm assuming I'm just pressing it late. Probably. This is the... This... This... This is for the birds. For the birds, I say. Alright. I made it. Holy shit. Magical ticket? What is that? What that? If you use this, you will be taken to the front of an Aldous house. Ah, shortcut. Nice. I like that. This is shaping up to be a promising playthrough. Well, if it's going to control like this, oh my god. We're going to have some struggles, and I'm going to have some rage. Can't wait for that. Open the door, fool. God. Having attack and open the door are the same button. Oh, shoot. You can accumulate MP if you guard against an enemy special attack. Purple glow. MP will be consumed when using relics. Use the relics to defeat the enemy. I don't even have any relics. What do you mean use relics? Oh, there's a relic. Svarog statue. The statue in the middle of the frame. Image of the fire gods. Flames sprout in, its, in your footsteps. Circle while guarding will activate the relic. Okay, sweet. All right. Do I have to wait till my MP is full? I don't know if I have to wait till it's full. This is very much a tutorial box, or mini boss, or whatever you want to call it. Gotti! You do not have to wait until it's full. And then you do it again to turn it off. Got it. Alright. Easy game. Learning. Like a neural net processor, we're learning how to play this interesting game. I don't want to say it's terrible because it doesn't seem terrible. It's just it's it's a 3D platformer, man. It's not going to have perfect controls. Very few do. Alright. Blue door. Where do you go? Have we circled around or are we an entirely... Oh, we did circle around. Well, there you go. We got our first relic. I wonder if that's what we need to open the doors? Or will the door on the other side of the castle just be open now? Let's go find out. All the monies. Did I defeat the five enemies to open up this? Probably not. I don't even think I've defeated one that counts for that, probably. It wasn't made by a team that specialized in platformer games. Well, then why the fuck did they get tasked with making one? That's all I can say. Wow, the door's open now. I just had to do the other side first. Tutorial, baby. Well, let's save what we've done. Because in a game like this, there will be harsh consequences when you die. So, saving it. As in, like, you will go back to the last save you made. There will be no, be there will be no auto save. I don't think. So, save every time you get a chance. That's all I can say. 
Bring it on. Bring on the pain. Oh boy. This looks like a fun room that we're probably gonna have to fight something in. Ooh, what that? Oh, I got another marker stone, nice. I'm surprised they're giving I guess they're giving to them all give those giving those all to me early so I can utilize them. As best I see fit. Give this to me. Event item. Map number one. Map of the House of Sacred Remains. Okay. Okay. We're going bye-bye. House of Sacred Remains. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like the first area of the game. Let me go back real quick, though, if I can. So this game's going to be split into areas we, like, teleport into. That's an interesting way to lay out the game. But sure, I'm okay with this. Area by area. I want to see what's in here first because of that. Because this feels like a hub room now. And now I want to know what's in this one extra room. It's very dark. Very, very dark and dank in here. Will I regret going down here? Only time will tell. I feel like this game controls decent enough to where it's like, maybe I'll get used to the controls. Also, am I just going, is this just going down forever and ever? Oh no, it actually went to a bottom. I was about to give up, I'm not gonna lie. I was about to say, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. I lied, it went somewhere. That staircase was unnecessarily long. Ooh. Hi, Pochin. Sealed by an enormous power. Okay, especially enormous. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, another save room. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll save it again. I got whatever. I got a high potion, so I'd like to keep that. This is probably like a side thing that I can do or something I gotta unlock later, you know? Like this enormous power will unlock later. So we'll be back someday, maybe. But for now, Back up this long ass staircase. We <sighs> the staircase is so long for no reason other than to give you a Jita. I had that Super Mario 64 staircase vibe where it just kept going up and up and up and up and never gets you to Bowser. But instead, it actually did end up somewhere. Weirdly enough. <laughs> 